Well, a brand new warning from economists as we get closer to the 2016 elections. According to a new survey of economists, experts predicting our next big recession will happen, and it could happen in 2018. That would give our next president about a year to get things under control after taking office. So who would be the best candidate to tackle the job? Let's ask the host of Sunday Morning Futures, Maria Bartiromo. Thanks for being with us. Good to Morning, see Maria. you guys. Is it too early to tell, or are we starting to get a peek? You know, we really need to see more granular, you know, granular plan specifics uh, from all of these candidates. We do not know who has the best economic plan, frankly. Donald Trump is talking about taxes. He's talking about lowering most taxes except for hedge fund managers and carried interest. Others are talking about regulation. The whole field is talking about regulation, that they want to pull that in, which is a good point, uh, because that does need to be done. But the truth is, is, and it's a surprise right now, because we see these numbers that come out, they look better than expected sometimes. You don't really think about recession right now while you're seeing growth and you're seeing okay jobs numbers. But the fact is the entire commodities area of our economy and the industrial part of our economy is breaking down. These are telltale signs that something is not right in this economy. Putting aside the fact that wages haven't moved, oil plummeting, iron or copper, all of the things that China buys and leads global growth, the global story is actually in recession. So the emphasis is on wages. That's what the candidates are talking yeah. about. It should be on jobs. Those are two different things. Absolutely. It should be on jobs and growth, more importantly, Tucker. Growth is really what you want. And we just, we're at a two, two and a half percent U.S. right now in terms of growth. We need to get that up to what Jeb Bush was talking about in his recent op-ed, 4% or more. We haven't had 4% growth in a long time. Part of that's the regulatory. And part of that is taxes, actually. In the, Wall, in the Wall Street Journal talking about Jeb Bush's tax plan may actually fuel growth. So taxes, jobs, that's what we can do to try to insulate ourselves from this global crisis? I think tax reform is critical, for sure, because the fact is, is there are so many companies that have hundreds of billions of dollars sitting overseas. They don't want to bring it back to the U.S. because they get taxed double on it. Of and then, of course, there is the, the the highest corporate tax in the world. That's leaving that money there. And then, of course, it's taxes overall are high in all income levels. And so tax reform would do a lot to unleash some money. But there are other things, too. There, there is regulation, which has been a major issue. Between Dodd-Frank, EPA, Obamacare, costs have skyrocketed for companies. They're not going to hire new people and, and, and uh, invest in their business if they've got all of this regulatory fees around them. So we're going to talk about that with Haley Barber coming up, by the way. He was the head of the RNC. He was the Mississippi governor. We're going to talk about how he sees the field and who has the best economic plan uh, for all of these issues coming up with, with him. And then you've got Gary Kasparov. You have the most interesting guests, I think, of any show I've seen. And That's it's on so right funny. after our Thank show. You. If you don't watch it, there's something wrong. So <laughs> do. 12 <laughs> minutes from now, Sunday Morning Futures starts. Maria, great to see you. Thank you so much, guys. So have a great day.